Let's learn this interesting chapter, the solar system. Now children, on a clear dark night, we can see the following things and they are one is stars, other one is planets. Now what are these stars? Coming to stars, they are twinkling celestial bodies. The word celestial means they are heavenly bodies. They are also self-illuminated. Self-illuminated means they have their own light and heat. The sun is also a star, but we see it differently. The reason is it is very close by. Now, the planets. Coming to planets, they are also heavenly bodies, but they do not twinkle. The reason is they do not have their own light or heat. They are illuminated by some other source. And the earth itself is a planet. The earth is our mother planet. Then the celestial bodies. Coming to celestial bodies, millions of stars that we see in the sky are very, very far away from us. Then the moon and the sun, if we take up, they are comparatively nearer. So we can see the shape. They are spherical in shape. That is, they have a ball-like shape. Other stars and planets, generally, they too are spherical in shape. Now, whenever there is a study of all these heavenly bodies, like stars, planets, and many other things. We call it as astronomy. So astronomy is that branch which studies the heavenly bodies like stars and planets. Now, our solar system. Our solar system is made up of, one is the sun, eight planets, satellites, asteroids, dwarf planets, comets, meteors. Coming to the first one, that is the sun. It is the head of the solar system. As we can see, look at the size and we come to know it is the head of the solar system. All the planets, they revolve around the sun. It is a bright star. It is made up of extremely hot gases. All members of the solar system, like we have seen the planets, satellites, they all receive heat and light from the sun. Life on earth itself depends on the sun, whether the forest that we see, how does it grow? One of the main factor that is required is sunlight. All the crops that grow, again they require sunlight. So we can say life on earth depends on the sun. Now the planets. Coming to planets, the names of the planets are the first one, let's read out, is Mercury. Second one is Venus. Then comes Earth, our mother planet. Then it is Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and finally it is Neptune. So, these are the planets eight planets. Now, they all are generally spherical, that is, they have a ball-like shape. Next one is, they all revolve around the sun in a particular orbit. Orbit are these white lines. What are orbits? An orbit is a gravitationally curved path of an object around a point in space. Here that point is the sun. Each planet 
has a particular period of revolution. That is, it completes one revolution around the sun in a particular period, like earth completes in 365 days. So children, with this we conclude.